Hey, welcome to Popplebunks and Kundagungans, episode one. One, the first. We're here to talk about frogs. Our mission is to track down these bro frogs. So we're actually gonna follow this book, The Frogs of Southeast Queensland, which was published by the Queensland Museum. Muse museum? Uh, Queensland Museum. And we're gonna try and find them all. There are a couple in here that are extinct, but we're gonna try and track them down as well. And also look at this cool poster. Mm. Frogs. I've just had a quick look through. There are about 60 species in total in this book. Obviously heaps of other field guides you can get, uh, but we're gonna be sticking to this one for the moment. It's just easier to keep track of everything. Obviously if we go outside of Southeast Queensland, we'll post that as well, but we're gonna try and tick off all of these frogs. Mm. Ooh. Mm. Some cool ones. Yeah. Okay, this is getting weird, but there are definitely some cool frogs that we wanna track down. Yeah. I'll post a link in the bio for where you can buy this book as well, and um, let's go. I just start on a sad note. I was just getting dressed to go out, and I noticed that um, I've only got one frog sock. I'm not sure if this is going to affect my frogging abilities, um, but we'll see. Five, four, three, two, one. Hey. Hello. So we're heading into the Gold Coast hinterland, into the rainforest. It's currently 20 degrees, so it's gonna be a cold night. Not normally ideal conditions for frog, but we're just hoping because of the rain on the past few days, we'll see something cool. It's okay, rainforests are generally pretty cold. If something's gonna be out, it's gonna be out regardless in this kind of weather. There are a bunch of species that we might see, but we've got one big target species for tonight which is... Flays, barred frog. Mixophys, 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 Flay-Eye. We'll just say Flays, barred frog. So we're gonna try our best to say scientific names a lot of the time. Let us know what you think about that in the comments section. Uh, common names, yeah, no good. Big. The trouble with common names is that like there's no prescribed common name, right? No, that's right. Orange eyes can be red eyes. This Broad palm frog, which is also some dude's name frog. <laughs> So we're gonna try and at least mention the scientific name at least once, even if for the rest of the time we use the common name. Um, but just let us know what you think. Yeah. No product placement, Daniel. There's rocks. A mad dash back to their car. They all forgot their cameras. The sooty's just in this one tree right here. I'm not gonna light it up because it might fly away. Literally right in front of me. Well, we've just got our first frog of the night. Uh, 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 uh. Stony Creek frog. You know what that means, Daniel? What does that mean? We can tick off our first thing. Victoria Wilcoxi, a male in breeding colors. They turn really yellow and actually significantly smaller than the females as well. Stony Creek frog. How cute he is. Don't touch it. I was obviously disappointed about my single sock situation, then I found out double frog socks. What's that all about, buddy? Okay. I own two socks. Well, it's uh, not a frog, but I think it's probably one of my favorite gecko species. Can you see it? Oh, it's a uh, Solturia swaini, southern leaf tailed gecko. Man, if you stand back here, like it just disappears into the. Well, now that you know it's there, obviously it doesn't. <laughs> In fact, it's pretty <laughs> camouflage. Let's find some frogs. So we're at our spot for flea's barred frogs, and we can hear them 
just can't see them. It's really frustrating. It's just a matter of getting good eyes shine off, hoping they're not under some uh, leaf litter. Yeah, it's probably hiding in the leaf litter. Where are you, Flay's bard frog? I mean, we know that it's here. Show me your beautiful eye shine. Mexify's fly eye. So these guys are what endangered or vulnerable? Endangered. Endangered frog. Flay's frog is named after David Flay, who um, started a conservation park and who was like, integral in developing breeding programs for endangered species. So they named this little frogger after him. It's such an awesome frog though, man. You know, see how they would just disappear into the leaf that I hate. Yeah. Pretty yeah. cool. I love those eyes. been a good day, let's put it that way. We got our target species, which is awesome, so we could have probably stayed out longer and gotten more. It's super windy. Cold. It's really cold, plus we saw like a lot of other cool wildlife. So how does the fasciolata sound? And how does flay eye sound? Piersonianus sound. That's pretty good, that's a good one. Pretty good. Uh, this is a little segment we like to call Daniel doing frog noises. Oh, uh, revelata we heard tonight. <laughs> <laughs> if you really want to hear Daniel do more frog noises, you know what to do. If you liked what you saw in this episode, remember to subscribe, hit the like button, or just press it. You don't have to hit it. Follow us all on all the socials, because that's good as well. If there's anything you'd really like to see, just let us know in the comments section. Any feedback you want to give us about the episode, please do that as well. We've got some people, some integral members of the group who haven't Excellent. even joined us yet. Um, but we just want to get out there and wanted to show you guys what we're all about. We're going to take off all these species and you're going to come with us. We'll see you in the next video. We'll see you then. Woo! I'm wearing two t-shirts. <laughs>